Here we are at the second unit, and this is repairing the inside of a toilet. We're using a plywood box for this, and all the parts are new, so you don't have to worry about that. What we're going to do is be creating what you see here. Now, the way a toilet operates is you have the tank, and the tank fills full of water. When it fills full of water, the float here rises up. Well, when this is rising up, this part here is actually a valve that shuts the water on and off. The water is coming in from underneath this pipe that comes up through this pipe and over through here and out through the bottom here and fills up the tank. When you flush the toilet, you pull this chain, that flap opens up, all the water goes down through and into the bowl of the toilet. Once the tank is empty, this falls back down, the water rises back up and the float begins to rise until it's high enough and shuts the valve off. Once you flush the toilet, when the water goes down, the valve goes down, or the float goes down, the valve goes down, the water turns on. So it's just a continuous cycle every time that the valve is pressed. So in order to put this together, we're going to step over here to this example, which is undone, and that's what we'll be showing you here. I'll do my best so you guys can see everything here. It's going to be tough. First thing I'm going to do is put in my... Um, my float mechanism here. There's a threaded bottom and that's going to slide through this hole here and just let it sit there. On the bottom side of that you're going to find a knot like this where you're going to go underneath the tank. You're going to hold on to the top and from the bottom side you're going to thread on you're going to thread on this piece of uh, this nut here until that gets tight. Once you're done with that, you're going to move over and put on the other side. Our next step is to put on this part here. There is a rubber flange and you can leave that on there when you take it apart. It is rather hard to get this on. We're going to stick the thread apart again down through the hole and from the bottom side you should find a rather large nut and that's going to thread on the bottom side of this. You're going to need to hold on to the top. And thread that on. And you are also going to want it pointed in this direction here. Snug that up. The next part you're going to put on would be the flapper. The chain's already attached to this. And it goes on quite simply. Place it in like so, and then you just put these ears on these little hooks out of here. Remember, do the back side as well. You have a hose that comes off of here, off the top. Oops, sorry. And that hose needs to get attached to over here. This part right here. So this comes down and slides together. The last part you have to do will be the handle. It goes in like so. Hangs down. There's a metal nut. And that goes up like so. Threads on. Now this is reverse thread. So make sure you turn it in the right direction. And then the last step is to connect the flapper chain down here to here. So when you bring this up, the flapper comes up. Once you get that all done, bring it over, have us uh, look at it, and we'll inspect it and check you off.